Yeah. How much he owe you? Oh. Um. I don't want to taste. <coughs> so essentially, we're working with like the mean value theorem, but just an application of that to like the stochastic process, right? And then we're using a so moving. So stochastic is like random. Uh, essentially, um, that's an easy way to put it. Like Candy Crush is a stochastic system. Yeah, you could call. I mean, sort of. So, yeah, like, I mean, it's or should I Google that term? sort of. Like you can, yes, you can look at stochastic. Um, uh, it's basically like fields of probability values and stuff. But um, basically, it's an application of that to that, and then you're using. Um, okay, non-deterministic. Yeah, non-deterministic so essentially. Not not random. Um, in that respect, Candy Crush wouldn't be because it's only like, so, like pseudo random. But okay. Anyways. Oh, I kind of, okay. What, um, take from there is basically the idea that the price of an asset will tend to revert towards its average, its moving average over time, right? And so if we're rebalancing a portfolio of multiple assets, essentially what we're doing is we're just working with vectors and the direction of the vectors and the strength of the vectors and their distance from mm -hmm. the mean. Um, okay. And then we're measuring that like the length sense, of right? those the vectors and like the duration, right, against the historic data. And then you allocate assets based on that. And um, in all markets we've tested it in and stuff, in all markets that it has been tested in that we haven't personally tested, um, it significantly outperforms just general, you know, like EMA crossovers or an Ichimoku or Bollinger Bands or any of these other indicators. Tell me more about the Ichimoku. Oh, Ichimoku? Yeah. Uh, Ichimoku, I hope I'm saying it right. Um, it means it's a, it's an at a glance a financial chart. It was actually created by a journalist and not Tight. yeah a journalist and not a like a economist or anything like that or a finance person. That's actually pretty um, cool. I like that. Yeah, kind of cool. But uh, basically, it just deals with uh, some lagging spans and leading spans, and then a moving average. And it talks about the crossover between it, and then you get um, essentially supportive or resistant clouds, which are the areas between um, these. Uh, leading and lagging spans and um, based on the time period you evaluate it over you can determine um, resistance and support and uh, entry and exit points pretty accurately oh man yo I don't know but I think I just like came <laughs> <laughs> I don't know